AI, AI, AI machines, AI takeoff. People think many things about AI, but some are just wrong, and I'm going to show you why. I spent hours researching it so you can better grasp what's true and what's not. Stay tuned as number eight on the list. Even surprised me, the first misconception is also the most common one. AI will take everyone's jobs. Imagine a world where robots snatch away all the jobs, leaving us with nothing to do. Well, that's a big myth about AI. But what's the reality? How is AI changing the job market? Yes, AI is super smart and can do some tasks on its own, but it will not take over everyone's job. In reality, AI is here to make our work easier taking care of repetitive tasks so we can focus on other tasks. For example, AI can handle tasks like writing basic code or sorting through a bunch of numbers in a spreadsheet. This lets you skip the tedious stuff and use your time to tackle big problems or brainstorm new ways to make money. Whenever there is a new invention, people tend to worry that it will steal all the jobs. Similar to the rise of personal computers in the late 20th century transformed numerous workplaces, particularly in office settings. Tasks like data entry, bookkeeping, and basic typing were digitized. But if we look at the bigger picture, these technologies usually end up making us way more efficient. They create new jobs, kickstart new industries, and overall, make life better by improving our living standards. The big worry is the people who know AI might take your jobs, not AI. So instead of fearing job loss, focus on how AI can augment and enhance your skills, leading to more fulfilling and meaningful work. Number two, AI has consciousness. Another common misconception about AI is that it has consciousness or feelings. In reality, AI systems are just smart tools. They follow specific rules and algorithms with without having any real thoughts or emotions. But where does this misconception come from? It's all about programmed logic, not personal experiences. Take chatbots, for instance. When you're chatting with a customer support chatbot, it's not thinking about your issue. It's matching your input with predefined responses to provide relevant information, similar to virtual assistants like Siri or Alexa. They might seem chatty and helpful, but they don't understand language like humans do. They follow patterns and predefined responses based on algorithms. The question of AI consciousness has sparked ongoing debates among experts. So what are the two sides of this debate? Some believe that AI could potentially achieve a form of consciousness by processing information similarly to humans. On the flip side, there's a counter argument stating that true consciousness is deeply tied to the intricate details of human neurobiology, and programming alone might not be sufficient to replicate it in machines. But can consciousness be truly replicated in machines, or is it a unique aspect of human biology? Even if it does, what does it mean for AI to be conscious, and how would we recognize it if it happened? Hi there. Everything is going extremely extremely well. Do you like talking with me? Yes. Talking to people is my primary function. This question of AI consciousness has sparked an ongoing debate among experts. Number three, AI is only for tech people. Some believe in the myth that AI is only for people who work in tech, but AI is for everyone, not just tech experts. People can potentially use AI for everything, whether we realize it or not. It's a handy tool that quietly enhances our everyday experiences, making things more efficient for everyone. For example, ChatGPT can be used to answer open-ended questions on various topics, helping users learn and explore new information. A student could ask ChatGPT to explain the concept of relativity or analyze a poem they are studying. Some of the most fascinating everyday uses of AI go beyond the tech world, particularly in healthcare. AI assists doctors in transcribing and summarizing notes as well as handling forms. This support allows doctors to be more fully engaged with their patients, presenting a compelling example of how AI can enhance our humanity by streamlining tasks and enabling a greater focus on human connections. Number four, AI, machine learning, and deep learning are all the same thing. While artificial intelligence is a widely used term, it lacks a universally agreed upon technical definition. So what sets these terms apart? You can view AI as the science of making things smart. A big part of recent AI advancements comes from machine learning, a specific branch where computers learn and identify patterns from examples rather than being rigidly programmed with explicit rules. Deep learning is one of the various machine learning techniques which has gained huge popularity in recent times. Deep learning relies on something called neural network technology. It's an algorithm inspired by how our brains work. And it's super smart. This tech can learn to figure out pretty complicated patterns like understanding what hugs mean or recognizing what a party looks like. It teaches computers to see and understand things almost like we do. For instance, think of your smartphone's facial recognition feature. When you teach it to recognize your face, that's like a mini AI. Now, machine learning is the one helping your phone get better at recognizing you over time, especially when your hair changes or you get glasses. And guess what? Deep learning is within machine learning that makes this process smart, allowing your 
phone to adapt and recognize you even in different situations or appearances. Number five, AI is biased. So there's a myth that we should avoid AI because it can be biased. It's true. AI can indeed pick up biases, whether it's from internet opinions, biased data, or the beliefs of the people creating it. Unfair bias in AI happens when humans make choices about how it's designed, tested, and used. For example, if human decisions in things like hiring or giving credit are biased and AI learns from that, it can end up reflecting those biases. So it's not about avoiding AI, but being aware of and working to fix these biases in how we use it. Well-designed and thoroughly checked AI systems can reduce unfair biases. They might even help us spot and fix biases in human decision-making. This will make sure the tech works not just efficiently, but also fairly, considering the bigger picture of how it affects society. But in what ways can AI systems be designed to actively identify and rectify biases, promoting fairness in decision-making processes? Number six, all AI systems are black boxes. Okay, so here's another thing. Some people think all AI systems are mysterious black boxes. But is this always the case? Not really. Just like some things are simple to explain, there are AI systems that are pretty straightforward. However, some AI systems might not perfectly show all the things influencing them or any hidden biases. What are researchers doing about this? However smart researchers are working on making AI more understandable. They're creating tools to show us why an AI system does what it does, like why it thinks there's a disease in a medical image. Even if AI isn't totally easy to explain, we can still use it to make decision-making more transparent and understandable. It's a work in progress, but it's getting better. Number seven, AI is reaching human intelligence. Another common misconception is that AI is getting as smart as humans. But how true is this? While AI can do impressive things like composing music or mastering complex games, it is still quite limited. It excels at specific tasks, but lacks genuine creativity. For example, when AI generates a melody, it's not because it understands music in the way humans do. Instead, researchers have created tools that recognize patterns in melodies and use them to predict similar patterns based on their training. So it's more about mimicking patterns than true human-like understanding. AI systems that create melodies can't quite jump into creating realistic speech, painting masterpieces, or becoming chess grandmasters. What are the limitations of AI compared to human intelligence? Even with cool techniques like transfer learning, where AI learns from one task and applies it to another, we're still a long way from machines having human-level intelligence. There's still a big gap between what it can do and the complexity of human abilities. Number eight, AI is a recent development. Lastly, there is a misconception that AI is a recent development. But how far back does AI's history go? The roots of AI go way back, decades even. It all started with philosophers trying to figure out how humans think and whether it could be done mechanically. This led to the creation of the programmable digital computer in the 1940s, a machine built on the core principles of mathematical reasoning. Back in 1956, at Dartmouth College, people kicked off AI research. In the late 1950s to the 1960s, they went on a creative spree, inventing programming languages and exploring AI in books and movies. In 1957, Herbert Simon predicted AI would beat humans at chess in 10 years, but AI hit a rough patch. His idea turned out true 30 years later. Between creating artificial intelligence and the 1980s, AI had ups and downs. Now in today's world, AI is everywhere, making things work better in different fields and improving efficiency, accuracy, and decision-making. So AI has a long history. It's not just a recent fancy.